Hello, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday. My name is Brian Mursky. I'm the owner of Veranda Technologies. We're in Brick Township, New Jersey, and we service Monmouth, Ocean, and the other counties around this area. So, over the past week or so, there has been a lot of news about uh, Cambridge Analytica and Facebook. If you haven't been paying attention, you should. If you have time, I would research um, certainly Cambridge Analytica. It's fascinating stuff, <clears throat> regardless of which political party you affiliate with. It's fascinating stuff. And Facebook particularly has come under fire for its uh, data, data collection and data sharing practices. So I wanted to speak for a few minutes about that, explain a little bit about what's going on, what you can do um, to maybe try to protect yourself. We're not going to dive too deep. I highly encourage you to do your own research on this. But um, it is important to note that Facebook is not so much a social media website um, as it is the probably the largest data mining operation in existence today. Uh, I don't think it's a stretch to make that um, statement. It is a massive data mining operation. And that's not just from the information that it collects, um, but from the apps that you associate with the groups that you are a part of, uh, whether they're closed groups or open groups, the games that you play, the quizzes that you take, uh, the polls that you answer. <coughs> all of that is designed to learn about you and make that information accessible to advertisers. Uh, and that may sound fine. It's just advertising. Okay, I can ignore ads. It goes beyond that. Uh, so again, research Cambridge Analytica. What happened uh, yesterday and today is that Facebook was um, accused is maybe the wrong word. It it was it was suggested that Facebook was using data in ways that perhaps its users didn't know they were using the data. And one example of that, uh, and Facebook has confirmed at this point that it was doing, uh, was unless you opted out, which, you know, they were in a way where, you know, why would anybody opt out? It sounds innocent enough. If you are an Android phone user, and there's a pretty good chance that you are because Android currently occupies 80% of the smartphone market, um, market share, Believe that or not, uh, I'm an iPhone lover. Most of the people I know have iPhones, but 80% of the smartphone market is still Android. Uh, so there's a good chance that you're an Android user. If you use an Android and you have Facebook and the Messenger app on your phone, there's a pretty good chance that Facebook, um, through the use of the Messenger app, has collected not only the contacts in your contact list and all of the information associated with those people, but your entire call log history and text message history. Now, I'm not talking about messages sent in Messenger. I'm talking about messages sent on your Android to other Android users having nothing to do with Facebook or Messenger, uh, the Messenger app. They have said that unless you opted out, they were collecting that data. Not having an Android, I haven't been able to, um, you know, they, they weren't doing it to iPhones because of the way the Messenger app works on the iPhone. We are going to check with my wife's phone, uh, but there's a pretty good chance that all of that history is there. <coughs> <coughs> now, what you can do, uh, separate from that, is look at what apps and what uh, things, what groups on Facebook have access to your stuff. And I thought I'd go through that a little bit right now. Uh, if you click on the, it's on another monitor, it's hard for me to see. If you click on the arrow in the top right and you go to settings, first thing you can do is download a copy of your Facebook. <coughs> now, I believe this said make archive earlier. I've done that. I've downloaded my archive. Uh, it takes a while, so you you tell it to make the archive, and then you wait for an email. Uh, actually, you get two emails, one saying that they've gotten the request. <coughs> Excuse me. Cough's bad tonight. 
uh, first email says that they've gotten the request and to wait for a while and then you get an email later that says we've exported all of your information and what that looks like when you get it if I can pull it up here is <coughs> waiting for it somewhere in here where is it well it's everything uh, oh I just saw it there it is every video you've ever uploaded it is every photo you've ever uploaded every text message you've sent to people uh, friends oh, you can't see that that's on the wrong screen there we go sorry about that little technical difficulty uh, so every video you've ever uploaded <coughs> every photo you've ever uploaded every text message I've ever sent to an individual person now, I'm not going to open these and show you any of my text messages but there are thousands of them they're in here and <coughs> list of your friends how long they've been friends every event you've been invited to if you declined uh, accepted etc security settings timeline uh, apps etc it's a wealth of information they've learned a lot about us the other thing that you can do if you click on the arrow and go down to settings apps this is every app that you have given access on Facebook and what it has access to. So we can click every one of these, iHeartRadio, and we can go in. It has my public profile. It has my friends list. It has my birthday. It has my current city, Facebook email address. And so this is everything that every app has access to. You can then clean them up, which is what I'm going to be doing a lot of tonight. <coughs> so some of this seems innocent, right? So they know what groups I associate with. They know what products I like. The problem is for an advertiser, right? You think of an advertiser like Coke or Pepsi, um, a game advertiser, somebody trying to sell you something, right? Home Depot, Lowe's, stores like that. I could become an advertiser for political purposes or religious purposes or whatever I want just to gain access to your information. Anybody can become an advertiser. And Facebook lets anybody advertise. If I create an app or I pull that data, you know, I buy that data from Facebook and they gladly sell that. That's what they're doing. They're gathering this information so that they can sell it to advertisers. So let's say uh, we all see these funny quizzes that we take, right? Um, which cartoon character are you or what's your favorite friends? You know, it doesn't matter. Some of them ask questions, um, or they have the math ones. Uh, you know, you take the day that you were born, divide it by 42, multiply it by 3, all of that. So somebody could very easily write a few of those that this one gets your, your birth month, this one gets your birth date, this one gets your birth year. If the same developers written all three of those, now they have your birthday, right? And so what? A lot of people have your birthday. But when you start putting that together with some of the information, some of the other information, um, a lot can be learned about you, and you can take it farther to um, some of the scary stuff that's going on is, is uh, you get those phishing emails that say you have to uh, log into your QuickBooks account within 24 hours and update your password. And it's fake, right? It's bringing you somewhere that's not really into it, or QuickBooks, and they're getting you to type in the information. They may actually be targeting you at a time when they know you're vulnerable based on other information in your profile. Um, you know, your GPS data is locked. The advertisers know when you have a busy day, where you are, when you're home, when you're not. So just something to think about. Know that this information is being collected. It is being used. We've proven it's being used. A lot of it doesn't seem harmless. But it could be if used by the wrong people um, for the wrong purposes in combination with other stuff. So I just wanted to highlight that. Again, you can, uh, I'll go back and go back in there just so you see where to go. If you go to uh, settings, you can also, by the way, go through if you have facial recognition turned on for uh, if you get detected in photos. 
you can go through timeline and tagging, who can see things, who can review things. You can block individual people, so you can block certain apps. What's public, what's not, uh, how your advertising is set up. In other words, go through this stuff. It's important to familiarize yourself with the settings, not just on Facebook, and I, I really hope it's not coming off as picking on Facebook. They're just in the news this week, and I thought it was uh, extremely relevant and timely to talk about. Just to make you aware, um, I have a good friend whose name we'll leave out of this who uh, has opened my eyes to some things recently in terms of online security and how things that even I thought were seemingly innocent aren't. <coughs> uh, and they were designed to not be innocent. They were designed very, very uh, purposefully to gather information about us. Again, I said at the beginning, I don't think it's an unfair statement to say that Facebook is less a social media site um, than it is a data mining collection tool. It's great, it's helpful, I use it. I communicate with people, I share ideas, I uh, gain information, I have people educate me, I educate people. I'm doing it right now, leaving this video for you. It, it is definitely a useful tool. The power behind it is phenomenal and you need to think about that when you're um, you know, sharing things, taking these quizzes, joining groups. Uh, note whether it's a closed group or an open group. Open groups are easy for people to um, you know, lean a little bit into your personality. If you're, if you're in a handful of groups and they all have something in common, uh, I can learn an awful lot about you with what groups you're, you're part of. And if those groups are open, I can easily see that. So, And who else is in those groups with you? One of the things I didn't mention when I downloaded my um, Facebook profile earlier, one of the things in there was a, um, forget what they called it, and I don't have it up now, I closed that window, but um, it was every person in my contacts list and every Facebook person that I'm friends with and their phone number next to it. Now, I don't have all of those people in my phone contacts list, so I know it's not getting it from there. It's probably getting it because you've put that information in, but what was remarkable to me was about 98% of the people listed, and there were a couple thousand people, all had phone numbers next to them. There were only a very few that didn't. And I find it hard to believe that 98% of the people I know put their phone number on Facebook, which means that my profile got it through other people sharing. So if I had an app on my phone, let's say, or an app in Facebook, and Facebook's on my phone, it is entirely possible it got your phone number from my phone. Now, not as likely because I use an iPhone, and nothing's come out indicating that they've done that on iPhones, but that is, you know, the Android um, leak and information that came out this week is a pretty good indication of why 98% of the people that I have a name for associated with me also have a phone number next to it. And I'm pretty certain some of the people that I have named on my list wouldn't necessarily want me to have their personal phone number. But I do, and so do you, you just don't know it. So, um, scary stuff. I'm going to go through and purge and clean up and make sure I'm doing what I can to protect those that I care about. You should do the same. Go through the Facebook settings, learn a little bit for yourself, make the time, it's important. If you have any specific questions, as we learn more, I'm happy to share. I'm just educating myself on this now. Uh, you know, starting tonight because it only became news yesterday and today. But if you have any questions, feel free. I'd love it if you reach out to me. Helpdesk at verandatech.com. That's V-E-R-A-N-D-A-T-E-C-H.com. My phone number, as always, is public, 732-743-5772. You can email me, brian at verandatech.com, or find us online at facebook.com slash verandatech. Have a wonderful and safe week. We will see you next time on Tech Talk Tuesday.